So this question says the function g is defined by g of x equals x plus 14 times t minus x, where t is a constant. In the xy plane, the graph of y equals g of x passes through the point 24, 0, which means that when x is 24, y is 0, or g of x, right, g of x and y are the same thing, let's put it that way, y equals g of x, which equals 0. What is the value of g of 0? So what do I know? Right, so I know what I'm being asked to find, but what do I know? I know that g of x is equal to x plus 14 times t minus x. I also know that when x is 24, so g of 24, I'd get 24 plus 14 times t minus 24. I know that g of 24 is actually equal to 0, right? When x is 0, g of x is, I'm well, sorry, when x is 24, g of x is 0. So I can write this as 0 equals 24 plus 14 times t minus 24. So it looks like I'll be able to solve for t in this case. So let's go on and do that. So I have 0 equals 24 plus 14 is 38. And then, of course, I still have t minus 24. I really don't care about this 38 because it's not going to have any bearing on my answer here because it's all going to equal 0. So I still have 0 equals t minus 24. And of course, I can add 24 to both sides here in order to get t is equal to 24. So now I know t is equal to 24. So now how does that help me? Well, that helps me to rewrite my g of x with a t value instead of just using the t. So instead of x plus 14 times t minus x, it turns into x plus 14 times 24 minus x. Okay, now I've used everything that's been provided, and now it can go on to actually answering the question. So the question asks, well, what is g of 0? Well, g of 0 is when x is equal to 0. So I'm going to go here and replace x with 0 in the first parentheses and replace x with 0 in the second parentheses and just solve from there. So 0 plus 14 is 14. 24 minus 0 is 24. I'm going to go to my calculator and see, well, what is 14 times 24? And I get 336. So g of 0 is equal to 336. That is our answer.